Welcome to the show, What is a Little Girl Supposed to Do? The show is about survival, perseverance, and redemption. Ooh. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. So right now we have, uh, we have it faced on Brother Will. Good. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, wow. This is, this is really, this is going to be good. This is going to be good, y'all. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. I like, I like. And then I'm quite sure we'll talk about the ages and all. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yes, this beautiful. is. Love it. So mom, this was a really good idea. I, this was a really yes. good idea. You know, I, and seeing that I'm, I'm not a hard headed child. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everybody tuning in today with us. Uh, what is a little girl supposed to do? And this is exactly a part of what we're going to do. We're going to be letting you know, giving you examples of what a little girl supposed to do. And I would like to thank my mother for being here, obviously, with me co-hosting our podcast. She came up with a wonderful idea, and it was a blessing to get a response back from our guest today. And we have Brother Will, and he is here. Well, Brother William, I apologize. Okay, he Brother is Will. here, and he is going to discuss black men in training and a bunch of other treats and joys for us today thank you so much for joining us my pleasure oh my pleasure, my pleasure. thank you thank yes, you queen, thank you for being here i'm super excited to hear we appreciate you i appreciate yes, you too appreciate you like i said i love y'all's energy and i'm i'm glad to be on here with you mm. yeah. Right. This is going to be a treat. I should have brought in my pad and stuff and mm -hmm. so I could write down some stuff, but I'm so happy that I can go back and look. Yes, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Now, would you like to discuss with us um, things about yourself, Brother Will? Um, sure. Right. Uh, I'm a community activist. I'm a black man, not a native Portland, Oregonian, but I have been here long enough to grow my web feet and hands. You know, since, yes, sir. So, when I first came to Portland, it was like very shortly right after Mount St. Helens that blew up. That's, that's wow. been here a yes. minute, right? <laughs> yes. Right. It's 1980. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right. So uh, I had never seen snow. So being a young man, I actually thought that was snow when I saw it. And my, my mother would not let me play in that mm -hmm. snow. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so I've been here since. And uh, I came from Fresno, California. We lived there for quite a while, several years. And then we moved to Compton, Los Angeles lived there a while, but we wanted to escape the so-called gang violence. Yes. So we heard there's gold up in them near heels. <laughs> so they moved us up here to Portland, Oregon <laughs> to stay away from the so-called gang violence, right? Yes. Which is ironic because it has a little bit of a sad twist to it. I ended up losing my baby brother in 1992 mm -hmm. to the very violence we were trying to escape. Oh, wow. And he was murdered brutally. You know, and after witnessing that and seeing that, it did something to me. So after serving, you know, some years in the military, yeah. um, fighting in the actual Gulf War, the first one, um, I know how to defend myself, handle myself well, use weapons and all that. Yes. And the first thing I wanted to do was exact revenge for my brother. Yeah. You know, everybody with red and blue on, I wanted to move efficiently at nighttime and have people just disappear and they see body bags all over the place yeah. but i knew that that wasn't the answer yeah. so i had met a dear uh brother now of mine it was a dear friend then brother gary muhammad he was selling the final call yeah. yep out there <laughs> on the block out there final call yeah. final call and i remember driving up to the curb and seeing him right there and i was like brother can i study with you he was like yeah we exchanged numbers and all that type yes. of stuff and the relationship just grew from there because he kept feeding me Minister yeah. Farrakhan's tapes and stuff yes. and Brother Khalid and all that stuff. And I was hearing all this and getting inundated with all of this truth. Mm -hmm. I was like, man. And then the next thing I know, I heard Minister Farrakhan. He had the mantra, I'm taking, you know, a million men to Washington, D.C. And I'm going to tell y'all, Queen, something. Wow. That event was a miracle. Man. I have never, ever witnessed 2.2 million black mm. men in one spot with not one ounce of negativity. Ooh. There wasn't a play on that word. It was real. No yeah. negativity yes. and no drama. Man. I was stepping on black men's feet on an accident because we was yeah. shoulder to shoulder, yeah. elbow to elbow. 
Jesus I get Christ. down there to go wipe your shoes off, you know, to wipe it. In. You know how yes, we are. The yes, people step yes. on somebody's ice, ice floor. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right? Yeah. It was like, get up off the ground, black man. No, I love you, man. Give me a hug. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. I told him Portland, Oregon. He said, yo, I'm here from Portland, Oregon. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We exchanged phone numbers and all that type of stuff. And I saw a sea man. of black men. Man. And it mm. touched me man. because I have never witnessed five so-called Negroes on the corner without man. no drama. Right. Yeah. Usually you get five right. of us, it looks like it's 50, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then it's going to be some type of negativity that's going to yes. pop off because we have having negotiations, right. <laughs> smoking nicotine, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out there being real negative. Yes. Mm -hmm. So none of that happened. Man. And seeing Stanley, MC Hammer, Ooh. seeing Ice Cube, seeing all these different stars and stuff that were there, Man. DOS effects, Man. all these people, and I'm like, what? It, it tripped me out. Man. It tripped me out. And so Minister Farrakhan urged us to go back to our cities after we had all raised our hand and swore that we wasn't going to call sisters the B word no more. Man. We was going to go back and accept responsibility at home and be men Man. to learn to be the providers, maintainers, and protectors that God made us to be. Man. He said, if you can't find a program, well, then make one and help your people come up to a higher class in society. Man. Well, since I lost my baby brother, I had decided to Man. come back. And work with the youth, yes. right? And I was very, very amped and excited. And I got back, and I saw a lot of good programs there in, here in Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of them still to this day are doing very, very good work. Beautiful. However, I saw that there was a lack in a certain area that we desperately were needing. Mm -hmm. One was discipline. Yes. Okay. Two was love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three was the inability to know how to move effectively as men. Yes. And I can't say that I have totally learned that already right now because none of us are. Yes. Why do we know? Because manhood, we feel, is not a destination. It's a journey. We're ever evolving and learning how to be better men. Yes. I didn't get the crux of what I know yeah. now until the last about decade. And I was like, wow, if I'd have known this a decade ago mm -hmm. and two decades ago man mm -hmm. i could have saved myself a bunch of hell yes. well to him who much is given mm -hmm. much is required so i understand that i had to go through these things so that i could be a true testament and help someone who was going through that now yes to yes. help someone who didn't know how to go so i can tell the young man not that way boy this way Beautiful. don't fall for that that's a trick mm -hmm. don't do that because that's going to end up in this type of way there was no men around to teach us this. That's right. Being a product of a woman whom I love dearly, my mother. Mm -hmm. I was Beautiful. raised by a single mother. Okay, she's still around now. Thank God, that's a blessing. Yes. And I know we only get one mother, but she did the best she could do mm -hmm. as a mother yes. to raise me. That's beautiful. But what I found is a great percentage, over 80%, just slightly over. Most of us as black men, black people, period, are raised in a household where there's no man. Right. And unfortunately, there are dire ramifications because of that. Yes. It doesn't mean that the woman was did something wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just how it happened and what happened to us. Yes. And there are many people who are coming into the knowledge of understanding that there is a problem here because of that dynamic. But most of them don't know how or why it got that way. Yes. They don't go to the root cause of it. Yes. Right. Now, it's the root cause is how you get to any dis-ease. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay? Yes. Just like a dis-ease of the body can only be attacked at a cellular level. Yes. We got to get to a cellular level of what in the heck happened to black men. Yes. Because yeah. a lot of people throw all type of things at us and say, it's y'all fault. Y'all dropped the ball. No, we didn't drop it. The ball was actually taken from us. Man. And we have not yes. been able to give it back or get yes. it back. Yes. It was given to our queens. Yes. And what has happened was they knew this, Mr. Willie Lynch, mm -hmm. to set up sound economics for themselves yes. that they had to reverse the roles mm -hmm. in the black man and black woman. Mm -hmm. So they said, if we give this to the mother, and she has this information. She will automatically raise her children in the opposite roles. Mm -hmm. 
she will place the male behind her, yes. but make him strong to work hard yes. and put the female out in front and teach her to be independent, mm -hmm. not need no man. Yes. I can do bad all by myself. Mm -hmm. Got to have a J-O-B to be with me. Ain't yes. nothing going on but the rent. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> oh, that whole thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I said, oh my goodness, could this be, this is me talking to myself, yes. one of the whole reasons why we're in such a dynamic and as I looked at it and I saw the statistics across the board, I said, my God, yes. Because in 1965, the Moyner Commission, okay, has said that it was a travesty that only 29%, which is still high, mm -hmm. of our black homes were headed just by single black mothers. No man. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go yes, <laughs> yes. get to 2013, yes. it was at 73%. Man. Wow. Yeah. Yes. 2022, we're at 81.5. Oh, wow. And so if there's no man in the home, when sisters are coming to me with this program here called Black Men in Training man. and saying, I got an issue with my young boy. Well, yes. what's the issue, Queen? He don't tell me what to do in my house. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what do you mean? He don't like the company I got. Mm -hmm. I pay the bills. I mm -hmm. said, yes, ma'am. And he don't tell me who I can have as company over here. I ain't doing nothing in front of him. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Well, what is it that he doesn't like? He don't like the fact that I had two different friends over. Mm. So I Man. told him to get out. Man. Now we have another issue. Yes. Okay. Man. So if they put him out and she says, plus the behavior he's exhibiting is toxic, brother Will. Mm. And I always have an issue with that. When they call the behavior, when a young man is coming into his masculinity, they call that yes. behavior toxic. Mm -hmm. Man. So I have to respectively ask her and any other queen to really, really look at it from the heart mm -hmm. and say that if there's no man in your home mm -hmm. and there's none in our communities for these young men to look towards, You're right. who are they being raised and reared by? That's right. So can we safely mm -hmm. actually call that behavior toxic masculinity or is it something else? Mm -hmm. You said we got to look at the truth, right? Yes. And the truth, That's unfortunately, right. hurts us like medicine. It don't taste good going down. <laughs> no. Right. It don't taste good. So Man. that's a quick so, introduction. That's beautiful because it is definitely well needed. Because I remember growing up in the 60s yes, and the 70s where, like you said, um, the women the women decided that, hey, they didn't need no man. Right. But the way it was set up, the welfare system, yes. a woman couldn't even have a man no. in the house with her. If she did have the man or the father of the children, they would cut her off. Yep, disqualified. Yeah, she'd be disqualified. That You could not have a man live with you if you wanted to get help from the government. That was not going to happen. And so that was part of the problem yes. also. Part of the problem, the way the system was set up to divide the family, put the man to the curb, mm. and the woman was there, you know, with the children, eating, you know, they, they getting housing and food stamps and all this. They was able to be raised by the government. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say my outlook on welfare was, uh, I, I mean, I was a, um, I, I don't know if the word is recipient of it, but I, mm. I applied for some benefits right. and for to take care of my, to help me take care of my children. I had been on a, a Section A, and so in my mind, to be honest with you, how I looked at those programs is that they was put in place because the dad wasn't around. That's how I looked at it. That I, the reason why I'm applying for assistance is because I need help with my children. And so they, to me, I looked at them as being somewhat of the, that was an income that since yeah. the father wasn't there, that yeah. was an income to take place of the father not being there. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes when they, when they, when you are on housing, yes, they will say mm -hmm. they don't want you to have no interaction with anybody that has a record. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to have them as guests huh. as uh, to come and visit right. of any kind. So that would be obviously hard. I mean, I can't say obviously, but um, 
I'm I have family members that have been to jail. You know what I mean? I've been arrested. I've been to jail. So to, just to say that I can't have none of my none of my supporters. That's I mean that right there is a is a um it was like a hard blow. But I think that it's set up to kind of leave put you on a you're on a crutch. I remember when they had that when um, one of our presidents was president and he had the whole it was ready to ready to work ready to work uh -huh. and so you're on your own welfare and you're like okay you're ready right. to work but then you want to go to school yes. to better yourself and they said we're not paying for daycare for you to go to school are you an aspiring model or actor let northwest modeling management showcase the best version of you get in touch with our professional team at nw model mgmt on instagram facebook and twitter or visit our website at nwmodelmgmt.com. Looking for the next face or personality for your company? Let Northwest Modeling Management find the talent you need for your brand. You got to get a job, Facts. like any job. Facts. And you're like, any job? So if I just, that's going to be a job that I'm not really going to want to take. And I'm not going to be on that job for very long because it's a job that I really don't want to take. Right. So, um it is conditioning too, but I love the fact when you said the truth of the matter and my opinion is us as women, when we grow up, when we have children and it doesn't necessarily work out with that father, it is damaging yes. for the children yes. to see yes. men coming in and out of your home in front of your children, especially if you got sons, it's teaching your sons. <sighs> And I'm just on some real stuff. That's I'm just in my I'm in my opinion. I'm just Come keeping on. it real. Right. By me being a single mom, if I had the door swinging with my two children there, when they know that that's not their father, <laughs> I would have a lot of nerve to try to now tell my daughter to be selective of the people that she's dating wow. or she's kicking it with because she's seen her mom doing X, Y, and Z. Come on. So when they get older, it's hard for children to say, you can't tell your children now, you want to tell your children, well, this is how it is, and then expect for your children to live a certain way. It's a, it's a contradiction, and it's, it, it, it's a lot of imbalance. Yes. And yes. children, we are children, and we see so much stuff with our parents, they remember every single thing that their parents do. And we yes. got to most definitely lead by example yes. for our children. Yes. That's just as, I mean, that's just as real as it. I mean, it could be with our children. They watch everything that we do and they use the things that we do as examples for decisions and stuff that they like, that they will make too You're right. in life. And a lot of times the parents would say, mm -hmm. don't do as I do. <laughs> do as i say i mean come on now right it, it, i mean you're asking your <laughs> child to have some type of mental illness Seriously. you're giving them a mental illness yeah you're giving them Absolutely. a mental illness because it's like they're alive they i mean they're like a recorder mm -hmm. they know what you're doing right but then what you're saying is like it ain't making no sense to them right well see i'm glad you said that queen because yes. See, what we don't realize is that energy mm -hmm. is real. Yes. You can't create it nor destroy it. That's right. It's just constant. Yes. The one thing energy does is changes from one form to the next. Yes. So how do I know the energy exists? We see that light. Yes. It's in my cell phone. Yes. It's coming through the microphone. Yes. Now, if the lights went off and this all turned off and the phone died, does that mean the energy has left? No. No. It's still there. Yes. It's just the true conduit of yes. expression of the energy That's right. is no longer valid or capable of expressing the energy through it. Yes. So when we tell children, don't do what I uh, say, do what I do, mm -hmm. what we don't realize since energy is transformable, human nature, whether you're there present with them or not, mm -hmm. everybody, not just children, do what you do, right. not what you say. So even right. when you're away, now they say character is that thing that's done in the dark that no yes. one sees. Mm -hmm. That's where your yeah, character right. is developed, right. okay? All of us mm -hmm. have done things we're ashamed of mm -hmm. or things that have yes. happened to us. That's, right. that's why the Scientology and the Dianetics are so important Yes, because we live in a decadent world, yes. born in sin, shaped into iniquity, yes. okay? Yes. So none of us yes. escape this. Right. And, and Allah says that if he were to punish man for his sins, 
Not Amen. one soul right. yes. would be alive. That's right. He even said that the best of my followers Amen. is as a filthy rag yes. in my sight. Right. Now, me being a, a follower of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in the Nation of Islam, mm -hmm. under the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I oh, said, yes. huh, if he looks at Minister Farrakhan as a filthy rag, well, my God, what chance do I stand? Yes. You're right. So that let me know I really got to be about this work. Right. And get right. to be out here hustling and working. Yes. And I can't tell someone to do as I say. You're right. I got to get out here now and work right. to produce the energy. That's right. So that others can follow me. That's right. Right. Yes. Yes. And that's what love is all about. Yes. Love is an action word. Yes. Not just talking. No. I mean, seriously. <laughs> no. Not just talking. No. We got to show it. Yes. We got to live it. Yes. And we got to do this because it is time for a change. What we've been doing. Mm. All these working, huh? <laughs> right. Yeah. Seriously, what we've been doing in mm. the past. Man, man, It man. is not working. No. What are we as individual going to do? Mm. Because it's going to have to take each and every one of us. Come on. Mm. I mean, we talking about change. Man. I ain't talking about <laughs> coins, quarter, nickel, dimes, and pennies. Come on. I'm talking about a change of heart mm. and a change of mind. Change of mind. And we just got to love. We got to love you. We have to look out for other people. God didn't put us here mm. just for our own little selfish self. That's right. That's I right. mean, seriously, That's right. That's he didn't right. put us here for that. That's right. We're here to help serve and teach other people because if when you know better mm. hey you're supposed to do better <laughs> mm. and so we as people we need to understand the race they talk about the race there's a definition of race they talk about colors and all that but we're the human race okay what are we racing for huh. what are we racing to mm. seriously i mean People need to just sit down, <laughs> meditate, connect. Because think about this. Think about Allah as the tree of life. Okay. You're a fruit on this tree, okay? Mm -hmm. Eventually, this fruit is going to separate. It's going to fall to the ground, and you're no longer connected. So what's going to happen? You're going to rotten. You're going to rot. Because you done lost your connection. And so we as people, we're going to have to get this right. I love what you said. And if I may add a little bit more yes, to that. Because okay? yes. I, I, I know how you feel. I felt that yes, same way. Man. What I found out, beloved, okay, yes. is that black people yes. are actually not a race of people. Why? That's right. Because a race has a start and a finish. We're a nation. Yes. We have no birth record. Right. Our record goes back over 76 trillion years. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, if you look in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, yes. where that book starts is exactly 4004 B.C. Mm. What does B.C. mean? Before, Before Christ, Christ, right? Mm -hmm. yes. 4004 B.C. Man. Now, you hear in the book of Genesis about him creating man and making man in his own image yes. mm -hmm. and if you get further down in there it says male and female created he them yep. then called t-h-e-i-r mm -hmm. there yes. not t-h-e-r-e mm -hmm. then called their name man. adam yes man their mm -hmm. name adam so it's just yeah. not one, one man yes their name adam and then you get further down into it it talks about their name being Mankind. Yeah. So they are a kind of human being. Now, when it comes to human beings, mm -hmm. what is a hue? If we really look at it, mm -hmm. it implies color. Yes. Glass, right there, is hueless, yes? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a hue, mm -hmm. how can you effectively call yourself a hue man being? Yes. You are a kind of man. Made after the original man. Yes. That's you and I. That's right. It's not racist teaching. No. It's not racism. No. It's just the truth. Yes. 
And for some reason, that hurts certain people when they hear these. Even people that look like you and I, they yes. say, he's preaching that hate doctrine. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because we start telling the truth. Yes. Now, in order to heal what's going on within our communities and the world, the truth is going to have to be told. Yes. Man, right. man, man, man. We are not a mankind. No. Every no. single human being, okay, and every kind of being that stands in human form man. was made from the black man and woman. Right. We are the earth's origin. Yes. And what does the fifth commandment say? Honor yeah. your mother and your fathers, yeah. that That's your right. days might be long upon the earth, which the Lord thy That's God right. has given you. Right. So if the black woman, mm -hmm. every race of people yes. came from you, right. you are That's the mother right. of civilization. Right. Everybody birthed themselves That's through you. That's right. You're very powerful. That's right. Getting back to that one point we were talking about a little bit earlier when it comes to the male-female, if it's yes. okay. I'm Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. In our prayers, in the Muslim prayers, we say, yeah. Allah neither begets nor was he begotten. There's none like him. Yeah. But also says that he is independent and he's not dependent upon anyone or anything. Yes. So if he's independent and made himself up from the triple darkness of space by himself, what was God's first creation after making himself? It was a woman, mm -hmm. a black woman. Yeah. That's right. Before he made the yes. sun, yes. before he made the moon, mm -hmm. before he made the stars. Mm -hmm. So if we're all dependent upon Allah or whatever name you want to call the creator yes. by, by God, mm -hmm. okay, that means he made her to be dependent upon who? Or did he make her to be an entity to depend on only on herself? Dependent on her man. Dep oh, okay. Yes. So, but upon whom we all depend, that's in the prayer. Yeah. Allah is he who is independent, but upon whom we all depend. So he didn't make the queen to be independent of him. Yes. And then every man that came after him, he made him after his own likeness and after his own image. So he is also supposed to be independent, but have someone dependent upon him. Because heaven lies at the foot of That's right. the queen. That's right. Beautiful. So whenever we were, yes. he was out there making the moon, the sun, and the stars, he came back, baby. Look what I just did. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, right. And she said, oh, look at my <laughs> right, man. Look at my back. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. Kissed him on his forehead and whatever else, and he felt good. And that gave him energy to go out there and make another galaxy. Yeah. He didn't make her independent of him to have her yes. own opinion, do her own thing, and be, I can do bad by myself? Why would the God make something like that? Right. Yes. right. This is how co-parenting works. That's right. You need the co-operation of male and female. Right. This is why the divorce rate is so high because the world has lied to you and I both. Mm -hmm. Gave me a whole misconstruction of what, was, what it was to be to be a man mm -hmm. and gave our beautiful queens a whole different ideology of what it was to be a woman. Mm -hmm. So we follow, all my women independent, <laughs> throw <laughs> your hands <laughs> up at me, right? Yep. Yeah. All that. And then what? Who was the other one that had that song? I N D E P E N D. Do you know what that <laughs> right. means? Right? What? Lil Boosie in there? Yeah. yeah. Right? Mm. She got her own place. <laughs> she got her own. And mm. unfortunately, we have a lot of males that have adopted that philosophy in their head, and they don't realize they have become fee males. Mm -hmm. yes. Fee yes. males. Yes. Okay? With mm -hmm. feminist mm -hmm. ideology. I, too, was raised with that type of ideology, yeah. and I promoted it yeah. because I thought that's what would get me over and be successful in my relationships. Every single one of my relationships failed miserably because mm. I did not understand the science of how to deal with yes. the one who I wanted to be with, Beautiful. the women. Beautiful. And so nowadays, because men don't understand this, yes. you got a lot of men doing freaky and crazy things getting with their own selves yes. now Amen. because they have said, well, I'm out of there. Mm -hmm. And they go on their own way. Yeah. I don't know what the heck yes. that most of me. <laughs> right? Yeah. But no, yeah. there's only yeah. one way. Yes. And that's through the way that God made it to be. That's right. And the world can try to sit up here and with this council culture and all this stuff and say, let's throw, her, throw stones at that dude saying this and that. Mm. 
hey, you can't argue with God. That's right. If he had meant it to be that way, why didn't he just make a man and a man? Why? Because we have to procreate. That's right. And without the ability to procreate, how can we live on and evolve as as a nation of people? You're right. We'll become extinct. We'll become extinct. Yes. And people can be pro-choice and all that stuff all they want. Mm Mm-hmm. But if you were to take people, you know, and, and place them on islands together and give them all the amenities that they need, this group's over here, but they can never leave this island. Mm-hmm. This group's over here, but they can never leave this island. Mm-hmm. What would happen to both sides after 100 years? They'd be dead. Why? Yeah, because they can't uh, procreate. So yeah. all the rest yes. of this stuff that you're talking about, your choice and everything else, means yes. nothing. If you don't have the ability to do what God made you to do, that's right. Even if you decide to take yourself and say, "I'm tired of being a man," mm-hmm. and I can turn out to be as fine that's as y'all, right. yeah. mm-hmm. it don't matter. I still yes. can't reproduce. That's right. Right. I can be pro in my choice, yes. but if I go against what God has said, now people mm-hmm. may not like me for this. You're right. But is it the truth? It's the truth. Can you argue it's with true. science? No. Mathematics. God? Nope. No. No. This is the stuff. It's not what we teach black men in training until they're ready, but we understand the, the we understand the ideologies, the presets and the concepts that even when your young man and your young daughter goes to school, what are they teaching them? This is why yes. the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said to take your children out of the schools. Yes. This is why the Bible said, "Come up out of her, my yes. people. Be not partakers of her sin." Because they are rearing us in a way that is not conducive to our health, growth, and longevity. That's true. And unfortunately, we just lost. We lost. And I hope that didn't hurt nobody's oh, feelings. Oh, no, no. I mean, the truth is. The truth is truth. <laughs> the truth is the truth. The truth is truth. I'm not perfect. No. Hey, no, none I'm of flawed like, yeah. like a yes. mug. Yep. I'm just saying, if we want these young That's men right. to stop the murderous campaign mm. that they on, and the murder rate right now in Portland, Oregon is at 1,600%. Yeah, it's too much. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You said too. Hold on. Anything that's at 100% mm. is, is, is hella yes. high. Am I right? Yes. yes. Now take it to 200. Man. How do you get to 1,600%? Man. Unless yes. by design. It's too much. So yeah. will we even have a future? No. Will sisters like you even have the ch- Will they even have the choice to even have a man within the next 10 years? If there's no man even less than yes. what we are now? We're training young ma- black men in training, but who's yeah. training the young women to be young yes. girls in training right. to qualify themselves to be wives? Right. What right. will they have to choose from? Yes, man. That's what I was going to ask. Yes. <laughs> Thank and you, Queen. So I that's was. what we're, yeah. This is this Which, yeah, yeah. This is gonna have to be like a. This is gonna have to be like a, a, a continuation two. of part two. <laughs> part <laughs> this is gonna have to be a, this is gonna have to be right. a continuation of part two. Man. Yes, 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 oh yes, 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 God. yes. And we want to thank you, thank you, brother Will, for the knowledge that you've shared with the audience. It's my honor. And I am praying that people will take heed to the message today. We're in 2022, and Allah wants to know, what are we going to do? So thank you for uh, tuning in to what is a little girl supposed to do, and we are here, and we plan to be here by Allah's will, and we're just thankful that we made it another day to get it right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for everybody tuning in to us today to what a little girl's supposed to do. And I think that we give you examples of things that little girls would do um, once they get a little older. So once again, I thank you guys for tuning in. This is LaShantley and Belinda and our guests. Brother Will. Thank you for tuning in to our podcast. What is a little girl supposed to do? Until next time.